Number eight is the multiple choice question. Which equation best models the data in the scatter plot? Nice thing is they made the scatter plot for us already. We can definitely see that there is a negative correlation. The dots are kind of in a general downward trend, which means the line has to have a negative slope. So being a good test taker, I could automatically eliminate B because it's got a slope of positive 1, as well as D, it's got a slope of positive 1. So those are out of the question. Then without having to work too hard, I can just look at this and say, well, the y-intercept looks like it's about uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, somewhere between 8 and 10. You can see both the slopes here are negative 1 and negative 1. So really, we look at the y-intercepts and say, well, which one's closer? It should be between 8 and 10. Here's 8, negative 6, not even close. So we definitely would say C is our correct answer.